after the concert, there was some um, discordant as I came back to this place where I stayed tonight. There was some discordant uh, clairaudient chatter, which started up again this morning. And so then, possibly because of the high energy of the concert, or maybe just because this is the gateway, yesterday, yesterday was the gateway, a huge lion's gateway, and the beginning of the Mayan calendar year, and a, a chance to step into a totally different reality for both us and the nature kingdom, I think. Um, so a door opened last night. And uh, this morning, it, it, something became clear, as is often the case in the early morning. Uh, and I hope to explain it adequately to you so that in future, if you need it, uh, it will be there for you. This, this, this knowledge will be there for you, this information, okay? Um, there's, an, there's an issue that's been going around. I think it's called patriarchal domination. Um, that's a, for me, clairaudient, but for others that are clair in other ways, I expect, expect it express, expressed itself otherwise. Um, but for me, what it seemed like was, um, as you know, we've been in the age of Atlantis, right? And before that was the age of Lemuria. And Lemuria was pretty easygoing and um, more feminine in character, both for men and for women right? And uh, Atlantis is this very left brain kind of a domineering society where uh, the, the, the many talents and sk skills of women, the special, special skills of women are not venerated and in fact denigrated. That denigrated means torn down and, and, and sullied with darkness. And um, just as an example, so that you'll understand, there was a time on Earth when women uh, were the mainstay of society and the no notion of nurturing children, bearing children, of, of crops coming up on the land and feeding people. Uh, we're all bound up together in the notion of the the dignity and worth of, 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 of women. So women were respected then and honored, and men were honored too. When the Atlantean age, as it has progressed to its utter lowest point, <laughs> uh, women have been torn down to the to just being sex symbols. And the most obvious, uh, uh, like, um, uh, representation of this in today's society is the role that women play in the media, on television, on billboards, in movies, in the fashions that are in, um, in the stores which are too skimpy for my taste and far too flimsy, see-through. The fashions that are available in the stores and the colors that women wear, the fashions that are available are sexual. And the colors that women wear and men wear are very dark these days. If you look at a crowd of people, you will see mostly very dark clothes, okay? This is the, the absolute, I think it's called nadir, the lowest point of the, of the Atlantean age. And the, ter the shift happened a couple of years ago to the blending of these energies and the restoration of harmony on Earth. I'm sure you already know this story, okay? So, so anyway, what happened last night with this gateway for me? I came to an understanding about the role of the natural the nature spirits, the Davic world, and the, and the, um, sorry, my hand's getting tired. <laughs> the Davic world and the nature spirits, like, you know them by many names, but the fey world, the fairies, the gnomes, the elves, that, I'll bet you there are quite a few that we don't really know about as human beings. They, 
they're responsible for the for the nurturing of of all life on earth okay that's your health my health your birth they help us in our dying process through all the pathway of our life they help us okay in the growing of plants they are instrumental in the fulfillment of wishes they are the interme intermediaries. So when, for instance, Tom Kenyon, that wonderful human being, Tom Kenyon, talks about the realm of infinite possibilities, that is, the, that is now the birthright of humanity, the, the missing link, the thing that we, we haven't understood, is that the nature spirits are those beings of light that create what we envision for us. So what was lost at, in Celtic times when the church, the Christian church took over there was the understanding, the connection that we had, the working relationship that we had with the natural world. Still in Ireland, for instance, there are those that, that honor the fairies, right? But in the rest of the world where the Christian church has taken over, this connection has been lost and in fact is, is feared, okay? But this connection is the key to creating the co-creating the new new earth so first thing this thing that has been going around patriarchal domination this uh, I will rape you thing that's been happening and and this no 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 please don't thing that's been happening the thing that the no 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 part people which are the women almost invariably but sometimes men need to understand is that all they have to do is ask the nature world, explain to the nature world that they do not wish to receive this information, that, that they would like to stop receiving this information. The nature world has been uh, misled by darkness over and over again because nature spirits have no untruth in them. They exist only for joy and they speak only truth. You see, darkness is the exact opposite. It has no integrity. It has no truth. And it has no, it has no love. All right. So when they're confronted with beings like that and told that something is true when it is not true, they, they don't, they think it's true. Okay. So what we have to do as human beings is tell them that it's not true so that they know. All right. So in the case of this thing that's been going around, this I will rape you thing, I will rape you thing, and then no, no, no from the women, right? The thing that, that the women have to do is explain to the nature spirits that no, they don't want to receive this information about rape. They don't want to receive it. And any other bad thing that, or dark thing that comes their way, no, they don't want to receive it. They don't want to hear, my life has no, uh, what's it called, that, that phrase that's been going around? My, something like, my, my life has no quality. <laughs> All we have to do when we hear negative things is say to the nature spirits, no, 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 go on back, because they travel along the lines of energy that connect people what they call the astral cords, okay? And they're just trying to like help us communicate with each other. It used to be like unconsciously and now it's just becoming conscious, right? We have the ability now to say that we, we want to receive a certain emotion or we don't. Oh, we didn't know that. We just didn't know, okay? I don't know what to say about the guy thing, the I will rape you, I will rape you thing. <laughs> There's. There's a million kajillion guys out there that would never think of doing that thing, but some wounding causes that 
that difficulty, you know. And, and the men that are cognizant of what is happening, because it's like gone worldwide, it's gone, it's gone viral. <laughs> and um, so the men that are conscious of what is happening, even though it appeals to their, their, their primal instincts, right? If they work with the nature fairies, they can help them um, to heal that. They can, they can help them to, they can help heal their hearts, for instance. They, the nature fairies are good with heart chakra energy. They can fix it up. They can do a lot of things for us. So, all I gotta say is, just say no, just explain. Just explain if you hear something negative that it's not true that you want to hear it. And the, the, those beautiful beings of light will be more than happy to take it away from you. And then step two, think about what you really want. <laughs> be very specific because it can manifest immediately through the, through the nature spirit world. Huh? Well, uh, so, oh yeah, the other thing, when you talk to the nature spirits, it's very important not to like emote negatively, uh, they, their hearts can't stand it, so even though something is causing something that, that through their intermediary like help is causing distress to, to my heart, I can't, I can't be angry with them or upset with them because they think that they're always trying to help, you know. So the thing to do is talk to them very sweetly and kindly, don't forget.